Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Sail with No Allison. <laughs> um, this is crooked. Sorry. But welcome. I've got Diane here. And she is not going to be on camera because the Heather Cam is being squirrely again. But you have me on camera. And you have Diane probably shouting over the, the computer back there. Say hi, <laughs> Diane. Hi. Okay. <laughs> So is everyone ready for... <laughs> hey, Robin! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Hope my mom's on now, too. Because she couldn't see me and she was sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, Mom, if you're there. And if not, I'll say hi later. All right. So, I have already taken notes for Diane for a lot of this sale. So I'm not taking votes on how we're starting. We're going to start with the higher end things. Hey, Laura, hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're gonna start with higher end things. There are not very many of those. So we're gonna start with those and then we're gonna move to very, we're gonna keep going down and it's all kind of mixed up together, lots of different price points. We're doing everything from $3 strands to $30 strands tonight. So, and we've got lots and lots and lots of really awesome stuff. So, wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so. That's what I want. Okay. So, first up, we have these really, really cool African brass bicones. These are awesome. They are not very good if you want exactly regular things, but that is not my favorite thing anyway. Exactly regular, perfectly symmetrical. I'm not any of those things. So I have two strands that are just the brass bicones and one strand that is the brass bicones plus a green agate slab. And all of those are $25 a strand. And you know what? I started the sale without doing any of the introduction because I'm not used to this. So, hi, welcome to our live merchandise sale. If you are new here, <laughs> thank you, Mary. So if you are new here, the way this works is I'm going to show you things. I'm going to describe them. I'm going to tell you how much they cost. And if you want to purchase them, you can type in the chat and let us know that you want to purchase them. And the first person to purchase gets the merchandise. And then actually, Diane, there is, there's a little, like a jam jar that has some squares of paper in it. That's where the 50 off things are. I can't see. That one, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we are both in new rules tonight. So this is, very exciting because Diane has never done a sale with us before so yay Diane give Diane <laughs> some love because she is here after a long day at work and doing us a huge favor and we love her for it and I'm so happy to have her here and I know it's gonna be awesome because Diane is good people and she makes me feel good and steady and all that and she also can pour me another drink if I have to <laughs> if I can read <laughs> I left the, yeah, Diane is not the tallest. I'm vertically challenged. So I did leave the bourbon down so she can help. So, <laughs> um, claim in the chat. If you have any questions, ask in the chat. I am looking at the chat. So is Diane. If Diane answers in the chat, it's going to come up as me because she's looking on my devices. But um, we're going to have to just kind of play it by ear as far as the rules go, because half of them involve specifically Allison. So if you are playing along, there is an indulgence game that we like to play. Mary has posted the rules in the Twitch chat, and they are also, if you need them in a more stationary location, they are listed at the top of our Facebook page in a pinned post. And... So if you want to participate, awesome. If you do not want to participate, 
awesome. We're so glad you're here either way. So I'm going to get back to selling things unless anyone has any questions because I think all of you are regulars right now. So yay. All right. So we did the African brass beads. Now I've got a couple more really awesome $25 strands. This one is so pretty. This one is actual turquoise. Look at this one in the middle. It's just so pretty with all of those shades. So turquoise nuggets. They're smooth nuggets, kind of a almost a rectangular prism, but they're not anywhere near that regular. Um, and these are not sterling silver beads. These are just silver toned metal of some kind. So that's what's keeping the price of this strand down to just $25. And these are about the size of my knuckle on my thumb. So you can see how big they are. I know y'all miss Allison's manicure and I'm sorry. I'm not as fancy as my boss is. And here we have some really pretty, awesome, fat, fat Jasper rondelles. And these are interspersed with onyx beads. And that's a really fun little strand. These are huge. I've got, I've got my own bracelet strap. So the 10 millimeter are these. So these are probably about 18 to 20 millimeter. They're, they're big, chunky boys large boys. So that one is also $25. Now we're going to drop down a little bit in price point. We've got some beautiful dyed horn. This is, I love horn because it doesn't weigh much and it feels really nice. And I, I know it's weird for a vegetarian to like horn and bone beads, but I really like that they are byproducts of the meat industry, so we are actually using all the parts. So I'm cool with that. So these are partially dyed horn. The red ones are dyed. The, the more tan and brown tones are not necessarily dyed. Um, and I think we've got a couple of water buffalo horn pieces in here as well, these kind of grayish ones. So I've got two strands of these. Each strand is $15. And they're just a mix of different shapes. And they are almost the same, but each has its own little character to it. So mixed horn beads, we've got two of those for $15. And they do already have a clasp on them. I would not recommend treating this as an actual necklace for very long, but you could. You, you could get away with that for a bit if you wanted to. And next I have some, ooh, these are so pretty. Sorry, Diane, if I'm jumping around. But, That's okay. Um, what you got next? I've got Chalcedony and Blue Lace Agate. So these are two things that look very, very similar. You can see that they are both this lovely periwinkle color. So Blue Lace Agate is this one with the top drilled bits. Some of them are teardrops, some of them are slabs. They're all top drilled and they're spaced out with little four millimeter Blue, Ag Blue Lace Agate beads. We've got one strand of those. Those are $30. And then we have one strand of chalcedony beads. And these have a little less of the striping, which is characteristic of blue lace agate. You know, less of the lace part. That's why it's called blue lace agate. Um, these are a more marquee shape. Overall, they aren't perfect. Um, these are gorgeous pieces of chalcedony. This is the natural color. A lot of you have probably seen chalcedony in a ton of different colors. And this is the, the sought after color of chalcedony. Sometimes it comes out of the ground looking more like white or gray or something that isn't super duper pretty, which is why they dye it so many beautiful colors because it can take the dye really well, but you aren't required to dye it to make it pretty because look, 
and very peri is of course the color of the year the pantone color of the year so chalcedony is also thirty dollars oh, amy would like one of the, cal the chalcedony strands got it amy and that is our first sale so that is an indulgence if you are playing along at home way to go amy Allison will be so proud. I sold at least one thing. <laughs> we. <laughs> yes, we. That's true. <laughs> Diane did notice that it was sold, so that's that's good. Okay, these are really pretty. I love these. These are freshwater pearl. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, <laughs> thanks Dolly. Dolly <laughs> these are freshwater pearl, and they are... I don't think they're quite six millimeter. I feel like they're maybe more like five millimeter but they are really really dark I would call them black but they definitely have some flash of browns and purples and really really dark tones in them but these are full 16 inch strands and I have two of those for $20 we're going through rando strandos but they are rando prices too so did not group things quite as well as I could have. I did the best I could. Today was nuts, y'all. Seriously. <laughs> but we made it through. And thank you for being here with us. I love it. Look at all those people. Wow, we went from five when I first started to lots now. Yay, thank you. So now we have some really pretty wooden beads. These are dark dark black wooden beads they feel really good and solid they are just really lovely so we've got one that's probably eight millimeter more like nine because these are eight millimeters so nine millimeter solid black wood beads and that is not quite a 16 inch strand probably more like 13 or 14 inches and that strand is ten dollars and I've got a strand that is probably I was thinking it was ten but compared to my ten it's actually more like eleven or twelve so big chunky black bone be or black wood beads interspersed with little bone spacer beads and that one is also ten dollars one of each of those I have some carved batik bone these are cool strands they are not the same but each one has a ton of really awesome different beads on it so each strand is full of character if you see particular shapes that you like I'll try to pick out the strand that is most full of that got it Robin oh oops I missed Robin's comment what that's Robin okay want? Robin wants these. Oh, okay. Cool. So, um, these, it, just tell me what you want more of, and I'll see if I can pick that strand out for you, if there is such a strand. Most of these are black, but some of them are brown and white, and most of them are carved as well as batiked. So, these are... Batik bone, and we're about to have we're about to have a lot of batik bone in just a second. So I'm going to do a small informational rant because I have the power tonight, and haha. -ha. And I, we've done batik bone informational rants before, so I'm going to do a small one. So the way that you make bone batik or anything is it's a resist dyeing technique. So you coat whatever you do not want to be dyed the darker color or the lighter color I guess um, you coat it with wax typically um, so these will be coated with wax designs and then they'll be dipped in some sort of dye um, sometimes they tea dye bones which is very cool but these are too dark to be tea dyed um, but we I think we do have some tea dye strands coming up. I am not willing to swear to it because I'm not going to taste them and 
make sure, but don't eat the beets. We here at Beating Dreams strongly recommend against eating the beets under any circumstances, un unless they're candy necklaces. But be sure it's a candy necklace before you commit to that. Hey, Barb! Oh boy, peace and quiet, yay. <laughs> so anyway, batik bone, we've got these two strands, all mixed up shapes and sizes. Two of those for $10 a piece. And here's where we get into lots and lots of batik bone. So I just gave each of these patterns a name for Diane. And I can't remember exactly the order. I do remember I put this one first. Giraffe hey, Corvus. Yes. Giraffe and cow first. Giraffe slash cow, because <laughs> I, I knew that if I said giraffe, there might be a Mary insisting it's more cow-like, but here we are with a giraffe slash cow design in black and white batik bone. That one is $15. We have chevron with dots. Was that the next one? Yes. Good call. So these are a nice zigzag. It is so copy patterned. <laughs> okay. So can't go giraffe or cow. It's a copy. All right, so these are chevrons with dots, and the pattern goes all the way around the bead, as you can see. And these are 16 inch strands, so, um, and the previous ones also were pretty close to 16, if not maybe even a little bit longer. Um, this one is also $15. Next, we had the polka flying dots. polka dots. Okay. Yeah. Polka dots are next. Polka dots are next. So <laughs> these are actually brown rather than black. It, I know it's not really showing, but I promise they are a deep, beautiful, velvety brown instead of black. Bye, Sme. We'll see you soon. So these are nice. Most of them are tubes. They each have... Hi, Sheena. Hey, Sheena. These are all batik bone, Barb. So, and they have really nice large holes. You can put these on leather, most of them. Um, yeah. And some of them have a wide variance in hole size, too. Check that out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're all large hole, but the exact version of large is up for grabs <laughs> from bead to bead. So these with the polka dots are also $15. Now we have the, I call these the flying V's because they're just V's. And the, they're kind of an irregular tube. These are black, brown, mostly they're really, really dark brown. The polka dots are more distinctly brown. These would absolutely pass for black, depending on how you want them to tend. So if you put them with black, they'll look like black. If you put them with brown, they might still look like black. But anyway, $15 for these flying Vs. Then we have these, which are the largest of these, these are actually probably close to an inch long. Let's see. Yeah, they're about seven eighths of an inch long. Are those the diamonds with the V's? Those are the diamonds with the V's. Got it. So it's actually two X's that form diamonds with also a little V pattern in them. And these are significantly larger than the other beads. You can kind of See the difference in size here and that strand is also $15. Okay and last of the batik bone is a nice long strand. It's still on the original Rafia so this is not one that's going to last long if you want to wear it as a necklace as is. You'll want to restring it. Um, 
but these are definitely more African and these are batik bone in a lot of different patterns. We've got squiggles and we've got almost ZB type things and we've got chevrons with dots and we've got just chevrons and we've got all kinds of different things but this is a full probably 24 inch strand maybe even 30 um, of batik bone beads and each bead is at least an inch long and those are 45 because those are really high quality and definitely African. <laughs> Hi, Nathan! <laughs> they kind of look like Batman spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Mary, call Bick. All right, so now we have non batik bone beads. So these are just natural bone. They are a little bit darker because these have been sitting around in the air for longer than some of the bright white bone. Um, we've got one strand of about eight millimeter bone rondelles. They're so fat they're almost round, but they're not quite. So that is not a 16 inch strand. It's probably more like a 10 inch strand or 12 inch strand. That one's $10. We have 10 millimeter bone rondelles. This one's a little bit longer than the other strand, but probably 13 inches on that one. And that one is also $10. And then we have a mixed strand of bone and wood. These are carved bone in a kind of a rice shape. And then these are just brown wooden beads. And that one is also $10. All right, so now we have a mess of my own making. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to call a drink because I'm switching trays. So, oh no! <laughs> Why are you biting your tongue so much, Nathan? All right, so we just did more expensive beads, some of them. Now we're going to drop down to the very, very bottom of our bead level. So we've got $3 strands, and some of these, I cannot believe they are $3 strands. And I am only, oh wow, good job, Nathan, that's awesome. That makes sense, yeah. and. Once you chomp on your tongue really well, it swells up and then it's always in the way. But yeah, some of these are so pretty. Oh, I didn't write these down, Diane. What didn't you write down? These stripy gold, yellow, blue. Okay, should I just... You just write them at the end, that's totally fine. Okay, I didn't know if, there was, if it mattered. You Not really. Okay, so say it again. Okay, so we're going to start with these. Yep, stripy. So these are stripy Indian glass beads and we're gonna say gold yellow and blue so there's blue and yellow and then a stripe of glitter glittery oh. gold it's so pretty okay. <laughs> and how much are those these are three dollars a strand three dollars and how many do we have we have three strands two have glitter and one is less glitter and more little pink polka dots do I need to be that specific? No. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wrote three at three already. <laughs> That's fair. We missed you too, Nathan. And now we've got some Indian glass. I love Indian glass. It, the luster, it's so extra pretty with that extra kind of glow to it. These pretty little yellow fluted oval slash beehive shape. I love them. Yes, yes Corbett, glitter and glitter glass. glass. Yep. <laughs> so there are two strands of these. I love them. They're they're not a chartreuse. They're more of a true goldenrod yellow and they're just delicious. That is not actually the Loverly Allison. That is 
That is actually the loverly Diane, Nathan. And we don't have a Diane cam because it's being very squirrely. Um, Sheena wants one with sparkles. With sparkles. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm grabbing. Got it. Good teamwork. So Diane doesn't technically work at Beating Dreams, but she is doing us a solid by being here tonight to take notes while I spend all this time showing off my beautiful manicure. <laughs> well, I, I am working on Saturdays now. Yes, that's true. And okay, one so bumblebee gonna... strand for Sheena. Awesome, Sheena, thanks. <laughs> the, well, there is a cam, but I, uh, I can't turn it on because it's not cooperating at all. I'm sorry. I wish there were, but look, there's a Heather cam non-stop tonight because it's I'll come me ahead and peek my head in. Before it's me out, all so the time. Can see my awesome hair. <laughs> Hello, Austin, Linda Ostman. <laughs> like, I, I don't know where Ostman came from, but I mean, I know that's your name, but I don't know why I was going to call you just that. Um, thanks, Linda. <laughs> Uh, Ace is not here today, actually. It's just Diane and me. All right, so I've still got one strand remaining of those pretty beehive beads. And now I have more Indian glass. Now we did have this shape on another night. Um, <laughs> it did come from your parents, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> But we didn't, I don't think, have it in this color. These are so pretty. This rich, rich Kelly green. And they don't actually have the luster on them, but they are pretty lustrous. Just... <laughs> Nathan wants to say hi. I know. I'll come over in a minute. <laughs> we need to come to a good break. Maybe after the next drag. Okay. Good plan. All right, so we have um, we have how many? Eight strands of these green glass. Thank you, Sheena. These green glass tubes. All of those are three dollars, and I have one and only one strand of mixed up three colors. We've got red, the cobalt blue, and the green. And look at this fancy little pattern that Allison's mom made. I did not make you this way. <laughs> you were this way before I ever talked to you. <laughs> but he is excited to be here with us. So welcome. <laughs> All right, so I have a few more of the $3. Now these are the ones that I really cannot believe. Are these the black? These are not the black. Oh, are you are you I, I can do the black. Glass? I'm uh, yeah, the recycled glass. Okay, recycled glass next. I got it. I I did not make you shoot Mary. I made you shoot Bessie, although that wasn't my intent. You shot Mary on your own. All I right. Shot the sheriff, <laughs> but I did not shoot the deputy. All right, so I'm drinking because Diane's singing. Yep, that's what I think we should do. <laughs> Since Heather's not here to do the drinking. I'm not a cow killer. I felt sad for the poor dead cows. Sorry. There's a cat in my eye. It's not even my cat. What? Okay. I know. There's a lot of Ziggy on my left leg after the memorial on Sunday. Oh. <laughs> so we've got some African recycled glass. These are short strands. They're steel. But they are $3 a strand. These are about six or seven inches long. And 24 inches of these are usually $45. I think we were selling them at, at one point individually for $3 a piece. Uh-huh. Yeah, we were. So we've got three colors and a mix. So we've got two strands of the beautiful red this is a lovely these are all matte finish just because that's what the recycled glass looks like but um these are beautiful christmas red like a great 
not a super super bright red. I said super super. Uh, Robin wants two strands of the multicolor. Well, Robin, I'd love to give you two, but we have one. And Sheena wants the yellow. So we have two red, we have one orange, we have two yellow, and one mixed, which is already going to Robin. One yellow for Sheena. One red for Corvus. Okay. We need to slow down one second. Sorry. Okay. And that's Robin. And then, oh, which one's going to Corvus? The red? One red. Yes. All right. I got it now. And one yellow for Robin. And Linda, that actually sells us out of the yellow, and Robin beats you on that, but that gives you a 50% off. <laughs> Hold your horses, Nathan. Almost done with this tray, and then she'll come say hi. Okay. <laughs> so I need to find people's boxes. So bear with me one minute. <laughs> Don't be sorry. But if you're going to tease me, I'm teasing you back. So there. Where is Corvus's box? Corvus? Oh, it is. It, okay. I found it. And there's not one for Linda right now, I don't think. Okay. But we. So, Linda, I've got red and green, but no yellow because we ran out of the yellow. I don't know what Linda's last name is, but I wrote Linda. Linda is you all you need time? to write. Okay, cool. That's my middle name, Linda. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, so wait, did that Oh, get... excellent. Did we sell out of all of the, um... We sold out of all but one, so that's a, that's actually one, two... So we should have two one drinks. orange left, right? We have one orange left, okay. and Linda wants those, so we did... That's one for the reds, one for the yellows one for the other yellows yeah i gotta find the other yellow the beehive yeah i know i just don't know where they are in the sheet there are three ones. sorry that's okay all of the three dollar ones are in the same area at least yeah and there's the green and the glass tubes there it goes <gasps> oh it. i love it laura yay i love big hero six so good. Laura and I both love it. Okay. All set? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay. Keep going. So. Are we back to the African? We are black, back black to the white, right? African. Yes. I think these are African. I'm not 100% positive because Diane wasn't sure. So Diane knows a lot about beads. She's been doing this longer than I have. They're either Indian or African. Yeah. But they're really that cool. <laughs> they're big honking chunky 16 to 18 millimeter round-ish. They're they're round with like a little dimple in them. They're almost like they're in three little lobes. And they're big chunky. See? And we've got two strands of the black and white striped. Three dollars a strand. We have two strands of these Fun orange and red striped. Those are really great colors. Again, big and chunky. Nice large holes. Two strands of those for three dollars each. And one and only one strand of these kind of desert colored glass beads. And the colors are not showing up quite as pretty as they are in real life. You've got these really subtle peaches and grays and then this is decidedly orange not yellow and this is also decidedly orange not yellow so you've got oranges and yellows and blues and grays and peaches and whites and it's just a really pretty strand and that one is also three dollars a strand nathan and it's not a stupid question at all that's for sheena sure all right Got it, Laura. That's a pretty strand. You'll like that. And Laura, uh, I don't think Laura has a box, right? Right. Um, 
She wasn't on stream. Well, that's okay. No big deal. I got her. Okay. I am orange, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> and those are the. Um... Um, but back to Nathan's question, which was actually a good question. So, if you are new to the speeding stuff, you may not know what a strand is. And that is a way to sell beads already strung up. So you can see what they're going to look like when you do string them. So it is a line of beads, essentially. Um, it's usually referred to as a strand. And it's not usually on material that you want to keep it on. It's on an inexpensive stringing material just to, so you can see what they look like, get the idea of what they look like, and then you're going to want to restring them on a better material for whatever you're going to use them for. So you can string them on cord or stringing cable or elastic or you can wire wrap them. I've got a wire wrapped necklace on today. This is another thing you can do with beads. So you can make links in between if you like that. But yes, a strand is just a way of getting mini bulk beads. You don't have to buy them individually, but you also don't have to buy, you know, necessarily a thousand of them, which is nice. All right. And that does it for the $3 tray. So Diane, do you want to say hi? Oh, sure. I can come over and say hi. You don't have to, but you can. Well, I'm kind of getting pressured. <laughs> I know you are. I'm not, no, not mother. <laughs> no, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Nathan. <laughs> All right, I'll come say hi. All right, we're doing. I should be able to see my stuff. You gonna yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> hi. Heather's just gonna go uh, grab another drink, and I'm probably gonna grab a root beer when Heather's done getting her drink too. You want me to grab it for you? Yeah, there's a diet root beer in the fridge Can in there. Get one? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Tell them where you're from. Oh, uh, from Massachusetts. And what's the most fun thing you've done so far this week? I know the answer. Oh, I went to the New Kids of the Block concert. And that was really, really fun on Saturday night. Yay! Yeah, I just got my hair done, Corvus. On Monday. No, I'm from Boston, Nathan. Boston, Massachusetts. Well, right outside Boston. A little suburb of Boston. But I've been in Texas. Tether, how long have you been in Texas? Uh, moved in 2010. So I've been here longer than Heather. Oh, is, did Denise just pop on too? I didn't see her pop on. Pop on. Did she? Well, she just says hi, Denise. So I'm assuming Denise is on. Oh, and I made this necklace. You can see it. One of my new, new pieces. Oh, I think Sheena is saying hi, Denise, to Laura, because Denise is Larry. Eh, that's... Got it. So, hi, Laura. <laughs> I've been to Somerville. They call it Slummerville up in Massachusetts. <laughs> All right, back to, back to selling bees. All right. Thanks, Heather. Cameo appearance by our lovely Diane. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a, an entire tray full of random, but almost everything in it is $10. Some things are not. So we're going to see if you stop calling me mother, I might tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, how old are you, Nathan? <laughs> he, he, I mean, he... He's not very old. <laughs> uh, so he could be old enough to be a, one of our kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it makes me feel old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Both saucers up. No, we're not having this discussion. Um, yes. I think we got Bone Saucers Graduated should be next. Yep. Okay. All right, so... 
This is the one and only strand of these, and I have to have that camera on in order for you all to see it. So these are bone flying saucers, graduated, and they're so fun. It's just, it. this strand has a lot of movement to it. It's just awesome. I'm going to play with it because, look. Why would you not? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one strand of graduated bone flying saucers. <laughs> Yay, Corvus! <laughs> Have you ever felt old before in your life? <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so this strand is $10. And then we have... A bunch of strands of these these are they're eight strands and they are bone heshi or rondelles or wafers or whatever you want to call them they're skinny little rondelles that are flat on one side so wafer or heshi is oh got it that makes more sense than Denise yes <laughs> So we've got some that are more white and some that are more aged bone. So if you want a strand of these, these are 8-inch strands. They are $10 a strand. And if you want a strand, just let me know whether you want more aged or more white. So did you want one of the bony little things, Sheena? I think Sheena's just commenting. Oh, okay, wasn't sure. Yes, vintage does sound very trendy. I'm going to... I'm... I'm not mid-century, <laughs> but <laughs> I am definitely vintage. Now, these are the ones that I think might be tea-dyed bone, and I love them. They look like, I mean, they're so intricate. They've got little carvings in them, and they're definitely not batiked, but they definitely have, um, they've rubbed them with something to you are the only uk viewer right now not the only one we ever have although Lori's in canada so she used to be we have an international following we do have an international following it's awesome <laughs> so um these we have two strands of these they are about probably nine millimeter eight inch strands and Robin would like one of the interesting bones. Awesome. <laughs> They're English people. I'm the best. It's true. You are the best one I know. All right. This one is Robin's. Sorry, my cousins got you beat, Nathan. Because they're my cousins. That's fair. But you're still my favorite. But I love these. They've, they're, they actually have holes. So you can see through them. I can see you. All right, and those are ten dollars. Yes. Wrong. Oops. I wrote something in the wrong place. I got it though. Oh no. Well, you're fired. Except you can't leave and you can't stop working. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. <laughs> Nathan, I have to always be your favorite. Bone carved rectangular prism. Oh, rectangular. I was trying to see what what the. I thought it said wreath. And I was like, wreath. All right. So we have these are large and in charge. They're pretty close to an inch long. They are bone carved bone rectangular prisms. We have two strands of these, and they are ten dollars a strand. If I have to give you a reason, I'm clearly not your favorite, Nathan. That hurts my heart a lot. All right. So these are rice-shaped bone beads. I've got one strand that is only this rice shape. And then I have one strand that's long and short. So we've got like the hair pipe beads, but they're kind of shorty hair pipe beads and then the shorter ones as well. And each of those strands is $10. We have these kind of 
Nuggety bone beads. These are fun. Do those the fat rondelles? No. Okay. No, oh, you'll... Nugget chiclets. Yes, chiclets. Exactly. Okay. Also going to get the dark freshwater pearls and then you're done. Okay, got it. Who wants to... Laura. Okay. <laughs> I know, Nathan. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Okay, so we've got these bone chiclet nugget beads. They're they're a cool shape. They're definitely an irregular shape, but they are probably about 14 millimeters long and about eight to 10 millimeters wide. They do look like teeth. I was trying not to say that, but now it's out there. So bone teeth, two strands of those for $10. <laughs> They actually look a lot like hominy to me. I could go for some hominy. That stuff's delicious. I've never had it. Mm. It's so good. It doesn't taste like... It's got its own flavor and texture. All right, so these are the fat rondelles, and you see why okay. I... Or you will in a second see why I drew that picture. <laughs> so I love the pattern oh. on these. <laughs> You draw the, drew the pattern in the I book. did! <laughs> so it's an overlapping circle pattern. Good night, Laura. Good luck tomorrow. And we'll hear back from you, hopefully, with good news. I'm rooting for you. We're all sending you good thoughts from here at Beating Dreams. So we've got two strands of these. They're probably about 12 millimeter really fat rondelles with that cool overlapping circle pattern. And two strands of those, eight inch strands, $10. And I've got loose lace agate top gold sticks. Yes. So I have five strands of eight inch strands of beautiful blue lace agate. So you get all the different striations and everything that you get with the blue lace agate. Five strands of these, $10 a strand. And they're all top drilled. They've got this great movement to them. They'd look really cool in a in a necklace or all bunched up in a necklace or even in a bracelet because honestly they have a lot of movement. You can move them anywhere you put them. All right so now <laughs> now I have a mix of things. So the first strand on this hank is these are shell rondelles, so these are the Shiva eye shells, or we learned last time that they're also called Thai snail shells. Oh, that's right. I remember yeah. that. Um, but these have been cut, so they're not the shell shape. They're just a big, fat rondelle, and they're really pretty, though. So that would be a very cool mix in with some other beads in a bracelet stack. Especially the bone rondelles we saw earlier. Exactly. Yeah. Or, you know, the black wooden beads with this. That would be really cool together. That would be. Or lots of the other things we've had. But anyway, this is a short strand. It's probably only about four and a half inches long or so. Um, that one is $10. We have more of the bone rectangular prisms, but with this really cool carved sodalite bead in the middle. And I would buy this just for the carved sodalite bead because this is the kind of thing we would sell for 10 or $15 a bead. The entire strand is $10. We have mixed... Agate coral? Agate coral. I think these are coral because they're, there's something going on that's not just agate, I think, but I'm not going to swear to it in court. Thankfully, I'm only on the internet, so I don't need to swear to anything on the internet. But everything you see and hear on the internet is true. Didn't oh, you know you, what? Didn't you know that? I'm a dirty, rotten liar, because this is not agate at all. Oh, you might. That is right up your alley. You know why I know this isn't? Because it's moonstone, because it's winking at me. Wait, that's white moonstone? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, see? See? 
There it goes. Oh, I do see it now. <laughs> So that so moonstone and agate. Moonstone and agate or coral. Yeah. So that is ten dollars. And one more. Stones can too wink. <laughs> they wink better <laughs> than some people I've seen. <laughs> some people can't wink. Some people can't wink. It's it's adorable. Um Oh. Laurie, did you want the moonstone and agate? That is not surprising in any way. There it is. And I have a quick story to tell about my old niece, Ellie, when she was little. And she she wanted to, we called it Pirate Ellie when she did this. Because when she wanted to make it clear that she was being mischievous and she could not wait to save her life. But she would turn sideways and she'd go, and then she would tell you whatever secret it was. <laughs> and she couldn't really wink, but she could close one eye for a while. But she'd also duck behind her hand and tell you the secret. And then she'd go back to whatever she was doing. It was, she was about four. It was so cute. <laughs> and she's old enough now where if she were watching this, she would probably murder me for telling you that story. <laughs> Oh, I didn't show the last strand. Yeah, there should be a mixed magnesite. Yes. Norina Jasper? Norina Jasper, yes. Oh, I've never heard of Norina um, Jasper. It's in the face. <laughs> yes, she would murder me in the face, exactly. <laughs> Which I can't say on Facebook because it goes against community standards. And you might get booted off Facebook altogether. For the M word? Yep. Yeah, I I tried to comment that I would murder someone in the face for a donut, and they definitely took it to the extreme. <laughs> they didn't actually boot me; they just took my comment off. So this is a mixed strand that's got one big chunky oval that's a little over an inch long of Norina Jasper, which is also mined in Australia, like Mookite, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> red rum, <laughs> yes, I would red rum someone in the face for a donut. So it's a really cool russet brown color with these mustard inclusions. It's so pretty. And also it has these magnesite heshi, um, which are about eight millimeter. And that strand is $10. And now we have... The smoky denim glass and the blue lapis glass. Yes. So these are not lapis. These are not sodalite. These are all glass. This one is more of a... You can't tell on the screen here. Is it... Mm. It's kind of a smoky blue denim color. It's, this is not a true lapis color. The other ones that I'm about to show are a true lapis color. Oh yeah, that color's not showing very well. Yeah. I mean, you, you can tell that there's a difference because this one has a bit of a pattern to it. It's not all the same color. It's kind of a, it's not Picasso, but it's, you know, almost a, almost like a Picasso coating. Um, so we've got three of the probably five millimeter round. They look a little small to be six millimeter um, of the smoky blue denim. And we have three of the true lapis blue in the same size. Those are eight inch strands and they are $5 a strand. Woo! Woo! All right. And these are a killer deal because this is a vintage cut you really don't see this cut anymore we sell these exact beads for about two or three dollars a bead these two strands eight inch strands of blue lace agate are ten dollars a strand so if you like blue lace agate and you like this cool twisty cut which i definitely do these are an absolutely killer deal Alright, and these I sent a picture of to Tallyfet before because 
She does a lot of work with seed beads and these are definitely a cool seed beading type bead and you don't always see peanut beads at the Beading Dreams because they're an odd shape and if you don't know what to do with them they just hang on the wall. But this is from a lot of beads that we got and these are not only the peanut shaped beads but look at them they're little hearts. Oh they're look opalite Corvus. Yes they're opalite. Aren't they cute? I don't love hearts but oh my gosh look so darling. We have two strands of those opalite hearts thank you forgot to say that part I was too excited about the the weird shape and two strands of those for ten dollars a strand. Allison's mom did the pricing and she values opalite higher than she does blue lace agate or even labradorite because remember she doesn't like labradorite. Yeah she's she crazy. they are kind of like spine beads. They are yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with them either, Tally Fett, but yeah, I I'm figured sure if, either, Tally Fett. if anyone did know, it might be you. I love this strand. This too is... big for peyote, though. Yeah. Um, this is a super duper cool strand, and it is... I think some of it is blue lace, some of it is just dyed agate, and you've got ovals, and you have rounds, so you've got this pretty periwinkle blue mixed with browns and peach and orange tones which I love this combo and I think if no one else gets this strand I might have to because I really do love it. That looks perfect for a stretchy bracelet. Yeah it does doesn't it? It looks yeah. so good. Look just so pretty. Um, that strand is $10. 8 inch strand. I've got a couple more opalite strands. So just to be clear, opalite is not opal. Opalite is much stronger than opal, which is good because it's actually glass. Um, it is also much cheaper than opal because it's not made of opal. And it's not fopal either. It's, it's just glass that has inclusions or it has stuff. I don't know what stuff. I'm not that knowledgeable. Alice probably knows, but she's abandoned us for the evening, but she's doing something really cool. So I'm excited for her. So it has stuff mixed in, stuff and things. She does do a great job doing the strands. It's, Sheena's not wrong. So um, we have one strand that's just the, I think these are 14 millimeter maybe 12 or 14 because are those the opalite yeah rounds? yeah so this is I have two strands of opalite rounds are we do two different sizes no we have two oh, okay. but one has this big honkin oh, faceted see. one okay and this is diamond facet rather than a hex facet so it's not the disco ball facet it's the the one that makes it look more like an oval when it's done. So we've got two strands, one with a big honker on it. Those are $10 a strand. $10 a strand, thank you. And eight inch strands. Now we have, I love these beads and I'm not entirely sure why, but they're very pleasing to me. They're big and chunky. They are 12 to 14 millimeter. I think probably 14, honestly, but they're white glass, I'm pretty sure. They might be ceramic, but I think they're white Indian glass. And okay, got it, Tally Fett. Tally Fett says she has enough big hunks in her life. <laughs> So these white beads are awesome. Um, we've got four strands of those and they're just a really soft color. It's, it's almost a grayish white, so it's not bright, bright white. Um, 
I just, I don't know why I like them so much, but I really do. So four strands of those. They are only $5 a strand for the eight inch strands. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, we're doing great. 8.47, we're fine. Allison's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> so these, are pink granite so you can't really the pink part is not reading super super well again another drink she got it she one of those white ceramic if you could pass it i'm trying perfect good choice sheena thank you So these are a really lovely mix of pink and gray. It's a very soft pink, kind of a peachy, peachy more than pink pink. And these are six millimeter rounds, eight inch strand for $5. And then we have two strands of sodalite, which is pretty, pretty blue with veins of white, pink granite times one. For Lori. Yeah. Awesome. So that is a sellout, so don't we have a drink? Not for just one thing, uh, but you know what? We haven't had many drinks tonight. So no, yes, we we're we're gonna drink a couple because we sold out of several onesies tonight. So there. So these are really pretty richly blue sodalite with a lot of interesting veining in them. And we've got two strands, that is, they're the same same length, they're the same price, they're both $5, but one is bigger than the other one. So if you claim, say which one you want, whether you want the big one or the little one. And I can't say what I'm drinking because Nathan has stopped calling me mother, which is good for him. Um, Good for Sheena, his continued I'm drinking, safety. I'm drinking diet root beer. <laughs> right, yeah, sorry. she's drinking unadulterated diet root beer, and I'm drinking primarily diet ginger beer, which is non-alcoholic, but then I did put bourbon and peach bitters in it. It's quite tasty. But it's a pretty light drink for some of the ones that I do on the sales because I am in charge. <laughs> All right, this Hank caused a lot of writing for me because <laughs> there are so many randos. So many randos. So these are kind of weird beads, but kind of fun at the same time. These are white and blue speckledy glass beads, and they're big, chunky, chunky, he and they large heshy. Um, diet ginger root beer with dark rum. That sounds awesome. These are definitely pieces of alien spine. Thank you, Mary. That's cool, Mary. I yeah. like that. And you can write that down if you want, Diane. Alien spine. I usually, if, if someone calls it something more interesting, I usually add that to the notes. Just so I can remember it later. Because I enjoy that. So I have two strands of these. They would actually make very cool chunky bracelets. Um, two strands for $5 each. And they've got a neat texture to them too. They're not rough. Like they they would be perfectly comfortable on your skin rolling around, but they definitely have a texture that you can feel. So I like that. And they're not super shiny. Now I have, I love these two strands. They're really pretty. These are eight millimeter round, very stripy blue glass balls. <laughs> we've got blue balls. Yep. Blue balls in the house. So we've got, and they're they're only small balls, but they are really really pretty. Two of those for five dollars a strand. And if those don't make it through the recap, or if they do make it through the recap, but they might make not make it all the way on the wall. Just saying. Because blue looks really awesome on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you always know when to pop back in, Corvus. 
<laughs> then we've got these really pretty stripy rectangular prisms. These are about half an inch long or so, a little bit more in some cases. Got two strands of those for five dollars. And one more strand. This is a really cool denim blue color. It's, it's pretty solid, but it has these subtle stripes that are thankfully showing up on the camera. So really neat blue glass heshi in this beautiful denim -y color. They are really pretty. Or very, very deep periwinkle. Um, one strand of those for $5. All right, so now we have more top drill nugget pieces. So we've got amethyst, and these are $10 a strand. I have one of these absolutely, I mean, this quality is ridiculous, absolutely gorgeous, deep, deep purple amethyst. One strand of those for $10, and these also very pretty, but not quite as spectacular, I suppose. Um, lighter amethyst, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six strands of those. These are all eight inch strands for $10. Large wavy top drills is up next. Okay, yep, it sure is. So these, Diane and I did determine are not quartz, they are good call, Corvus. What's the quartz? Oh, the deep amethyst. That's yes. a good call for sure. Yes, because they are, they are Corvus purple if I've ever seen it. The only thing they're missing is glitter or, you missed blue balls. Don't worry, we're, the, we're coming back to them. Or do you need me to pull them? Do you need me to whip out my blue balls again, Tallyfoot? We don't mind. <laughs> we can. <laughs> they're just hanging out. <laughs> so these are really cool glass. They're wavy top drilled things and it is not nine yet. I'm not cussing though. I'm just describing things as blue balls because they are. They're spheres. Oh, are we not allowed to curse till after nine? Well, it's a drink if you curse if before. You curse before. No. no one said I couldn't say balls, though. That's not a curse word. Mm -mm. So, I think this is a really cool strand. And it really would it make a cool center for a necklace if you add it. <laughs> curse, curse, curse. Yeah. <laughs> but I, Diane, you do it. I don't really cuss a lot. Oh, I don't have anything to cuss about right now. I will, though, before the night is over. I'm sure I'll find something to cuss well, about. Well, we only have five minutes to cuss and it be a drink. Oh. But how about I do this? <sighs> drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I have... Oh, and Tally Fat, I have been making a drink at home that is really, really tasty and would highly recommend... Well, what do you mean right now, Corvus? <laughs> I've watched your stream. <laughs> and besides that, you're free from school. I so... have to see a Corvus stream. I still have a Oh, uh, well, yeah, you do. She's going to start streaming next Monday. These are glass, actually, Sheena, not quartz. But we do have some quartz coming up. But anyway, I was going to tell Tally Fat about the drink I've been making with honey cider. Um... Yay! Which is Memorial Day, so I'm going to be at home, just like every other Monday. Um, but honey cider and bourbon, and I've been adding a little tiny bit of elderflower, not liqueur, because I'm out of that, but Ikea has mixes that you can make juices out of, like juice concentrate, and they have an elderflower one, which I like to use for mixers, and just a drop or two of that in the honey cider with the bourbon is so delicious. Anyway, back to 
selling things. All right, so these are glass, Sheena, and the strand is all of $10. So if you want to make something cool out of it, you certainly could. It wouldn't take much. No, it's, it's very cool. It is very cool strand. And yes, everyone should watch Corvus' stream. She's awesome. She will make you laugh your head off. She'll probably drop a lot and cuss a lot and lose track of the chat a lot and um, make awesome things. And that, that's how it goes. Now these are definitely quartz and they are nice and cool, which is always a good way actually to tell whether it is glass or quartz. So one way is look for bubbles and you can see bubbles in these if you actually look at them. So, but they also, these are not as cool as the quartz. So if they've been sitting on the same tray and one of them is not cold and the other one is, the not cold one is glass. Yes, I can show the glass again. Oh, hi, Jan. I didn't see you pop hey, on. Hey, Jan. Yeah, I need to get into streaming, period, but at least I'm doing it tonight. So, Jan, this is top drilled glass wavy bits, and they're really awesome. And one strand, $10. I feel like somebody's going to get the glass. I keep having to show it again. <laughs> Unless you're all just comparing now that I told you information. All right, so these are definitely quartz. Some of them are really crystal clear. Although, honestly, I think this one might be glass as well. Hmm. No, I think it's still quartz. These are definitely, definitely quartz, though. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six top drilled strands of quartz. And they're eight inch strands, $10 a strand. Tally Fat, if you do any um, seed beating, I'll definitely watch. Oh, she almost always does. Well, no, she said she might stream, and I was like, yeah. if she's going to be seed beating, stream yes. seed beating, I'd be watching. Yep. These I absolutely love. These are agate beads. They are, that's okay, Jan, you're still in time for the recap, so you haven't missed a ton. Um... You've missed a lot of beads, but I haven't sold as many as Allison sometimes does. Because I'm not as cool as Allison. <laughs> I'm doing my best. But I really love these crackle agate. They're matte finish crackle agate in a really deep navy blue color. It is an absolutely a 90s denim outfit and paid for. Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, if if you just add Brittany and Justin, then you have the Canadian tuxedo, right, Lori? <laughs> but anyway, I have, these are about eight inches or eight millimeters. Some of them are smaller than others. But they, there are four strands of those. They are eight inch strands and they and are dark blue or dark are blue. black? Dark blue. Okay. And they are $10. Thank you, Corvus. Can somebody shout out Corvus? I don't know what that means. Do exclamation point S O okay, at see. Crafty Skull Corvus. And if you say at C, then it'll probably give you that just as an option. Okay, one agate mat. Good oh. choice. Oh, then I gotta Perfect. go back to work. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Let's see. This one is Corvus's strand. Okay. And actually, let's shout out Nathan, too, because he streams he mostly streams games, not making things, but sometimes he streams diamond painting, and his streams are fun to watch. Plus, he has a very cool accent, unlike me. <laughs> you have a cool accent. It's just southern. <laughs> southern. 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 
And you know what? I said that these were fancy Jasper Indian agate. They're not. They're just dyed green agate. But they're really pretty. Thank you, Corvus. So these are six millimeter green agate. They're really pretty, mostly green. There are a few random pinks and purples here and there and some browns, but mostly green and other earth tones. We have seven strands of the six millimeter faceted. Hey Jen, how's it going? And those are eight inch strands and they are $10 a strand. Yay. All right, so that is the end of the strand portion of tonight's sale. How's everybody doing? Hanging in there. I can't believe that it that we're running on time and have gotten through all of this. I am doing a great job. You're doing a great <laughs> job. So we're about to have the number trait because we've got just a few really awesome. Yay, Mary! Oh, we she kept did Mary say, awake. We did yeah, I know that. That's a. I I feel really like I did something right. Um, we've got some really cute little. Oh, bits and bobs <laughs> these are all going to be carved gemstone pendant charm things Allison is actually off tonight she's doing a focus group um, so I'm letting her do it because it's it's an awesome thing 24 hour head of stream we are maybe going to do a 24 hour stream I mean, if I don't take my my sleep meds, I can definitely do 24 hours. That's not a problem. <laughs> do we want to see Heather after, after 24 hours of no sleep? Yeah, I may look a little crazed, but I'd still be awake. <laughs> All right, so I'm going back to selling things. We're going to get through these last things, and then we're going to talk for a few minutes in between these last few things in the lightning round recap. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. I am so excited to see all of you out there. Oh my goodness, we've got 22 of you total. Wow, that's awesome, yay. And I love you, each and every one of you, even those of you who haven't said hi, just for being out there. You're amazing. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry for the lack of Allison, but yay, extra Heather. And we have a Diane who has made a cameo. She is here mostly in vocal form but she is <laughs> actually sitting right there i can almost touch her i can throw things at her like allison does to me but i feel like i'd probably my um my arm's a little overpowered sometimes when i throw things so <laughs> i am afraid i'd break the furniture behind diane <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very good control over my arm strength. So, moving right along, here are some really cool gemstone pendants in various shapes. I tagged myself on the Facebook so I remember which stream I was on. Excellent. All right, so we've got little teeny tiny rose quartz mushrooms. These are so cute. They're about three quarters of an inch long from top to bottom of the mushroom um, not including the bale and if you they're the bales are no great shakes so if you would prefer yeah I, I think I will wait for at least one more stream before assaulting people with anything gems or anything like that so these are <laughs> since they're rose quartz and they're mushrooms they're little love mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> we have two of those and Diane how much did the dish say they were let me grab it I think they were 18 does that sound right that sounds right I'll but look. yeah I'm sure. I know exactly where the dish is because I left it on the other table okay excellent and while Diane is checking on the price for me because I just realized oh, no, they're 11. 11 hey that's even better yep. yay <laughs> so everything in this tray is going to be $11 which is awesome We've got number one is rose quartz mushrooms. We have two of those. 
I did. I tried to keep like mushrooms and then heart mu uh, moons and then hearts in the tray. Good job. We have carnelian mushrooms. These are really cool. Same size, different stone. The three of these, two dark, one light. Some really cool banding on these. Really, really pretty. Three of those for $11 a piece. I have one green aventurine mushroom. That one is $11 as well. I have some crescent moons over my hammy. <laughs> so we've got red jasper, one of those for $11. That's a really pretty one. Got more rose quartz, so this is a love moon. So one of those for $11. Now we have clear quartz. This is a really pretty piece of quartz, actually. I love the occlusions in it. And it really, it's got kind of a selenite feel to it, which is really appropriate with a crescent moon. Um, the metal is just silver plated, Jen. It's that's why they're only eleven dollars. They just glued something pretty in. Yeah, it's really it's it's since there's a not a crack in it, but since there's a plane in it, it does actually have a rainbow flash to it and just reflects really nicely. Rose Moon for Tally Fat. Got it. Got it. Alright, this one, the Quartz Moon is... I don't think it's nickel, um, but I'm not a hundred percent positive about that. I would, I would say I wouldn't bet on the bale, <laughs> but I don't think I bet that the the rings are probably stainless steel more than nickel. <laughs> you lick it, I bet it tastes like toad. So I haven't been saying numbers, but this is number six, the quartz moon. Yeah, the clear quartz moon, right? A six? Yes. That's what I got. Excellent. And for number... Actually, I'm going to scoot these a little because... I'm differentiating between these. Okay. So we're on seven. We are on seven. Those are the same though. I'm not moving them much. Okay. Were they not both the... Well, okay. So here's the thing. So Diane sorted these for me. And there's a reason why I'm making this choice. So, our two tiger's eye and one tiger iron. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, I have two moons here in my hand, and one is tiger's eye or tiger eye. And <laughs> yes, excellent point, Kenneth. Hello, good to see you. So, this one is number seven. This is tiger eye, but this one is tiger iron which also has hematite in it. Now, tiger iron is heavier than tiger eye. So this one weighs more than this one does. Sometimes you have pieces of tiger iron that look a lot like tiger's eye, but because this one weighs significantly more than this one, I'm calling them two different stones. So we've got tiger eye, and tiger iron. They are related corvus. So tiger iron has tiger eye, but also other stuff. Tiger eye and um, tiger eye and hematite, which is an iron oxide. So yes. All right. And Robin's taking number seven, the tiger eye. Okay. And the other one is a also a very cute, very planetary moon. Look at the striations there, like Saturn. Love it. Okay, so that's number eight. Is the tire tiger iron, correct? Tiger iron. Got it. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. I don't have stream sniffles. I have stream coughs. And this is, oops, 
You're doing a lot of talking, and that's hard. Makes you want to. That know. one's on the floor. Oh, need... uh -oh. Give me a second. We had the Diane cam. I could entertain you while Heather was on the I floor, know. but not so much. No. Well, that so, one. Oh, was that the heart? Yeah, it was the really pretty blue tiger eye heart, which has just gone. It's somewhere. We're not going to have it tonight. That one's going to be for a future night. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tally Fett, you really should get this heart because it, it's totally you. It's so pretty. Okay, so write it down for Tally Fett and I'll find it and we'll send it to you because I know I can get it. I just need to crawl more. And it is a really cool, I mean, it, it's my favorite shape of the hearts that we have. And it was also my favorite one. So, okay, these two are both Tiger Eye. Got two tiger eye hearts. <laughs> yes, Tally Fett. I'm not taking, I'm not playing games with it. I'm just throwing it on the ground and stomping it on it, stomping on it a little bit. I don't know. Oh no, Barb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is sadness. Yes. Barb knocked over a container of four millimeter crystals today. <laughs> we almost all know how that feels so i've got two tiger eye hearts these are pretty little puffy hearts oh they really do bounce a long way on tile <laughs> my heart will go on and on under <laughs> and on and on and on underneath the table so two tiger eye hearts those are number 10. got them this is also red jasper. This is a really cool piece. Lots of... Is it a heart as well? It's also a heart. I'm pretty sure it's red jasper, but it, it's just really... Look how cool it is! It is I love it. Cool. I like that it's red, but it still looks... Yeah. Like a, but it's still a stone. It's yeah. not like red glass. Exactly. So we've got red jasper. And I've got sodalite. This one's really nice. Again, very planetary with this heart. And it's got a really cool vein of orange, which you sometimes find in sodalite, just running right across the middle. It's really, really cool. So that one. It does almost look like bloodstone, Olga. That's what I was thinking. But there's absolutely no green in it whatsoever. These are all $11, Jan. And I have green aventurine heart. This one's a sweet. It's a little tiny, tiny bit smaller than the others, I think. So it's a really sweet little size. Green aventurine heart. And that one is $11 as well. Now we have. Jan wants the red one. Got it, Jan. That's number 11. And these are quartz spheres. They are probably about 18 to 20 millimeters. Probably 18. They're really pretty. One is milkier than the other one. But both very pretty. $11 each. <laughs> May have to take blue too. I I wouldn't say no to that, Jan. I think it's a really awesome one. And these are discountable <laughs> prices. Nathan, be good. All right, now these are both tiger iron. And you can see in this one in particular, you get the opaque brown and you can see little streaks of gray coming from the hematite. Yes, iron balls. <laughs> and if you bought two, you could have, this is the same stream. We have another chat up, Nathan, if that's what you mean. If you're feeling like you're missing <laughs> We've lost it all. <laughs> We've so. lost control of the stream. It's gone rogue. I never really had.
had control of the stream. <laughs> so, two tiger iron balls. Iron balls! A pair of them. $11 each. And that is number 15. And that, my friends, is it! That's all the new merchandise Wait, I have! I'm sorry, tiger iron balls was 15 or 14? Number 15. 14 so was the quartz. Whoops, hold on. What kind of quartz was it? Quartz. Just like a plain quartz ball? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes, tiger balls. It's like tiger balm, but different. <laughs> and how many quartz balls were there? Two. Okay. So, if you are up against your bedtime, then I have... <laughs> Nathan, be good! Don't mess this up for me. <laughs> Okay, um, if it is your bedtime, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank no. you. Oh, poor Tiger did lose his balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for supporting small business and our small business in particular. Um, we are still in a pandemic, y'all, and it it's just... Thank you for being here as part of the new normal with us. And we're not going anywhere. We're going to be streaming. Why do you always get the blame? I don't know, Nathan. Because <laughs> you like it. So thank you for being here with us. We appreciate it greatly. I am actually really on top of my invoicing right now, Tallyfat, before tonight. I actually finished all of your stuff. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, see, Nathan, when people decide that they just don't want to get vaccinated, it stays. <laughs> now I can I can mail it to you, Tally Fett. You don't have to we'll we'll talk later. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You already do have that because I take care of my people. So, just saying. So, are we gonna recap or are we, we are? Okay. Yeah, but we always say goodnight in between because some people go to bed. Oh, okay. I did save you some blue balls from last stream. I saved you a whole strand of blue balls from last stream. Good night, Lori. We'll see you tomorrow. And we do, speaking of tomorrow, have this really fun project. This is a pretty little right angle weave ring that Allison is going to make tomorrow. So that, tune in at noon tomorrow, and you can see how to make that from start to finish. And I did keep you up, but that's not new, Nathan. It's Thursday at Torch Day. Thursday evening is a torch Thursday, yes, and I can't for the life of me remember what she's making tomorrow night, but something awesome, because Allison's everything, awesome. Everything else. Yes. Awesome. And yes, it, it is pretty late for you, Nathan, but you're usually up this late or close to it without my help, so I'm not sure that's my fault. I'll accept the blame. So you aren't the only one getting blamed for things. <laughs> yes, the things you do for me. All right, so I'm going to start the recap where we left off. We're going to go do, through. Do you go backwards or do we go from the yeah, beginning? Back to front. Oh, so okay. I'm going to go back to front then. Okay. I haven't. I don't usually watch the recap. Sorry, Diane is new to this, and I have to teach her on the fly. Yep. So. We're going to start with the the balls. <laughs> start with the iron balls and move on from there. Yes, sir. What is your question? So I have, while Nathan is getting us his question. Ah, that actually is a good question. So the question is, do we make these beads or do they get sent to us like this? And the answer to that is, we 
primarily get our beads already turned into beads. And <laughs> yes, fairies cannot wear these balls because they're made of iron. Um, so most of the things that we get were cut and drilled and strung up somewhere else, not here. Um, sometimes we make beads out of metal clay or polymer clay, but we don't cut our own stones. So there are a lot of wonderful people who do do that. And it's funny that most of the people who make the beads never touch them again after that. Like almost everyone I know who deals in stones doesn't make jewelry. They just sell the beads. And I'm going to say I also don't make as much jewelry as I should. I sell a lot of beads and I buy a lot of beads because I think I have free time. And that, <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie, such a lie. It's a big fat lying liar. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep talking for just a moment because my scribe is excusing herself for just a moment. So I'm going to vamp, but yes, I don't make as much jewelry as I think I should because collecting beads and making jewelry are two different hobbies. And anyone who crafts anything that involves materials knows exactly what I'm talking about. Like buying scrapbooking supplies, buying yarn, making things out of them. Those are completely different hobbies. And Corvus has an entire craft room full of all kinds of different craft items. Same here, um, except for the craft room is the entire apartment. So there's that. Luckily, I don't live with anyone else at the moment, so no one else cares whether I have everything in my entire space covered in beads or not. And I have two more boxes on their way here, y'all. What is wrong with me? What's wrong with me? It's okay. All is well. We're okay. And collecting is plenty of fun, and I'm going to not beat myself up too much over it. But honestly, if I had a space as big as Beating Dreams, I could probably fill it pretty much this well. And that's alarming to me. Okay, I'm back. All right, she's back. Recap. So here we go. Starting with the iron balls. Tiger iron balls. Two of those for $11. We've got two quartz balls. Also really pretty. One milkier than the other one. Milky balls. Mm, milky balls. Yeah. <laughs> yes, crafting collection is a real thing. I have two hobbies. I collect beads and I make jewelry. Uh huh. And sometimes I fondle the beads because. <laughs> I'll get them out and go, oh, those are so pretty, I need to make something out of them. And then I put them away. Exactly! I'm a collector, not a hoarder. Mm -hmm. So two of the quartz spheres, those are $11 each. I've got a really pretty little green adventuring puffy heart, one of those for $11. I have two tiger eye puffy hearts. Yes, reorganization is a whole other hobby. Two of these for $11 each. I have a tiger iron crescent moon. This is a really pretty piece. This one is also $11. I have a quartz crescent moon. This is also a really pretty piece of quartz. I love it. That's the clear quartz, right? It's a clear quartz. That one is $11 have poppy jasper or red jasper. This one's a really pretty piece. Blood moon, but blood moon is never a crescent, so that's a lie too, but I like to lie to y'all. Not about the important things. So this one is also $11. I know you're shocked, as am I. Got a sweet little green adventuring mushroom. That one is $11 have three red agate slash carnelian 
mushrooms. I think this one is carnelian and these two might be red agate, but they're, anyway, they're pretty and they're stripy and they're red and they're $11. And I have these two Rose Quartz Love Shrooms, two of those for $11. And that is it for the number tray. Now it's on to the strands of beads. So I've got these. Strand, strand, strand. <laughs> Diane's singing again. Since she is in the Heather spot and <laughs> Diane sings, it's a drink. So I've got seven strands of these. They are six millimeter faceted green agate. They're really pretty. Love mushroom does sound like a unique drug, doesn't it? I have three strands remaining of these really cool matte crackle agate in the deep blue. Those are eight inch strands, eight millimeter. Three of those for $10. I have six strands remaining of these top drilled quartz beads. You want one of the crackle agate, Jen? Yes, Jen, was that one of the crackle agate or one of the quartz? The agate. Awesome. That's a good choice. They're really cool. Does Jen have a slot or no? Uh, probably not right now. Okay. I'll make one. Okay. Because it's been a minute since she bought something. And I've got six strands of top drilled quartz. These are eight inch strands. Lots and lots of quartz on each strand for $10. I have one strand of top drilled wavy glass. These are really fun. They're, they're big. They're about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter long. And Eight or, eight or maybe even nine inch strand of these actually, um, $10 for those. I have remaining of the top drilled amethyst. I have six strands, six eight inch strands for $10 of the lighter amethyst because Corvus took the Corvus colored amethyst. This hank is fun. There's just a whole bunch on it and it's all different. So back to front. Let's see if I can remember how I wrote this down <laughs> before the stream. <laughs> I bet I can. We'll all see. Right, let's see. All right. So these are a lovely deep periwinkle denim blue heshy glass. One strand of those for $5. Pretty good. Got, got two it. strands of stripy blue rectangular prisms yep. in the blue glass. Uh, two of those strands, eight inch strands for $5. Next up we have the blue stripy balls. How fun is Hank? <laughs> <laughs> Hank is really fun from what I hear. Um, so two strands of these stripy blue balls, which I really like, uh, about eight millimeter, and those are also five dollars. And last but not least, the alien spines. Alien spines. The <laughs> the blue speckled, kind of matte finish, heshy, big, chunky, large heshy beads. Two strands of those. For five dollars, and how did they do, Diane? Yeah, you did them all right. I did, I did. Yeah. My brain is a weird place, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> a little scary, if you ask me. It is a little scary. <laughs> I have three strands remaining of these really awesome white glass or ceramic beads. I think they're glass, but they're really neat. I like them a lot. They really would, Jen. You're not wrong. Jen is not wrong. Did we do the satellite nuggets? Oh, so the pile over here is getting things out of order. That's not necessarily my fault. That's oh, um. Okay. 
the satellite nugget slid down. Got it. I grabbed what was on top and it was not there. That's fine. No worries. Well, thank goodness weird brains are cool. And honestly, Diane, if you don't find it right away, it only matters if someone buys it. <laughs> True. So, three strands remaining of these. Big, chunky, white glass beads. $5 a strand. Eight inch strands. Yes, weird brains are the best brains, I think. I love this strand still. This is periwinkle, orange, and gray, stripy agate in ovals and faceted rounds. One eight inch well, strand. Mouthful. Wasn't it? <laughs> uh, one eight inch strand for $10. I have sodalite nuggets. Both very pretty strands, one decidedly larger than the other one. So we've got big sodalite nuggets and little sodalite nuggets or pebbles or whatever. Mouthful, yes. I don't talk too much about mouthfuls and blue bees, blue balls at the same time. I, it's <laughs> gonna get me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna be allowed to stream anymore. At least it's after nine. Beating dreams after dark. <laughs> so we've got two strands of those. They are only five dollars a strand. If you claim one, please claim <laughs> which size you want, large or small. These are really cool, but nobody knows what to do with them. They are opalite peanut beads in a heart shape. We've got two strands of those, eight inch strands for $10. What is this? Five dollars? Yes, teeth beads are coming up. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, wait. One of those five dollar strands small. Which yeah. one's Corva? This one. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I, was squish, I was squishing the squishing Tell you ball. what, Tally Fat. I'm excited to see what you do. This is going to be a gift with purchase. And one for Corvus. So actually we sold out of, we didn't sell out, but don't tell the boss. Um, we are out of Opalite Heart. <laughs> one for Corvus, one for Tally Fed. Yeah, no, I got that part. It was the, uh, I was finding it. The satellite was for Corvus, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's okay if you tell. Nice. She'll agree with me. <laughs> you know how Allison is with heart beads. She tries to give them away anyway. <laughs> ha ha! Yay! Way to switch it up on me. I like it. All right. We still have one strand left of 14, 12 big millimeter opalite rounds with one big honking diamond faceted 16 millimeter bead in the middle. That one is eight inches long. That is ten dollars. Got blue lace agate. And these again are an absolute steal. Two of these strands, this vintage cut. I love the twisted shape. So pretty. And we do sell these individual beads for two or three dollars. Two strands of these, eight inch strands for ten dollars a piece. And we have two of those left, right? We have two of those left, yes. Oh, that's awesome! awesome. Bye, Tally Fed, and congrats to Kiddo from us. Allison too, if she knew. And I've got these pretty little five millimeter coated glass beads. We've got two different colors. We've got a true lapis blue. These are a really lovely color. They are not lapis. They are definitely coated white glass, but are absolutely beautiful. About five millimeter rounds, eight inch strands. We have three of those for $5. And we have these other really pretty, more denim blue, kind of a smoky, variegated color on these. They're they're really lovely. Um, three of those, also five dollars. 
Got some. Got a squeaky chair. <laughs> Mine's not squeaky. Well, maybe you're not moving your butt right. That's what I think. <laughs> I think that's a good choice, Jan. It's a really pretty color. You're going to like it a lot in person. Okay. This is the glass, right? Uh huh. One denim blue for Jan. Plus, it's only $5. Now we have some top drilled blue lace agate. We have five strands of those. Such a great color. Color of the year. Very Perry. Five strands of those, eight inches long, $10 a piece. I have. Aha! This is where we start getting into weird mixes of things. <laughs> so we have this really pretty piece of Norena Jasper in this oval. Lovely russet brown with mustard tones. It's super cool. It is super cool. Um, one, the whole strand is almost worth it just for that one. Piece. I know. I That's why I'm selling it so hard. Because the magnesite beads are useful to have. They're, you know, 8 millimeter Heshi. But this bead is really, really cool. Whole strand is $10. You get 8 inches of beads. Including the one really cool one. Um, we have these carved bone rectangular prisms. These are just over an inch long. And the star on this strand is the carved sodalite bead here in the middle. It's really, really pretty and just very intricately carved. We would probably sell it for 10 or $15 by itself, but you get four bonus beads for $10. And we have, last but not least, a short strand of Shiva Eye or Thai Snail shells. Instead of being just the shell itself drilled, these have been cut so they are a rondelle. And they're really pretty chunky rondelle, would look great with a lot of other things. It's not long enough to do a full bracelet, but got a four inch strand or so, maybe four and a half. Fat rondelles, I love them. They're so pretty and that is also ten dollars. We have one strand remaining of the black wood beads. This is the strand that has, it's the bigger strand so it's more like 12 millimeter with bone spacers in between which are probably about five millimeter white bone. That strand is not a full 16 inch strand, but probably 13 or 14 inches, and that one is $10. I've got these really cool bone beads. I love this pattern on them of the overlapping circles. You can put other beads in between the sheep eyes, yes. So we've got all of these fat rondelles with these cool overlapping circles on them. These are bone. Nice. This might be even a little longer than eight inches, but eight, eight and a half inches or so. Two strands of those remaining for $10 a strand. Got some. Here are the teeth. Thank you, Sheena. <laughs> Sheena came in and gave me a hug today, and it was the best. Aww. Thank you, Sheena. I love it when people come in and give me hugs, because we, we really need it right now. We are all extremely overworked, which is why Diane is here, because we're all extremely overworked, and there, there are currently only three of us, plus Diane, plus Jenny, plus Charles, plus Ace, plus whoever else is helping. We have we the have most... Lot, you have a lot of half helpers. We have a lot of... <laughs> yeah, we, we, don't, we need another actual staff member, but we're working on it. So, yeah. I'm not going to talk much about the teeth beads because I don't think anyone's going to buy them now that they're teeth. But we have two strands of bone teeth 
Ten dollars to trim. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get mushy. Don't don't worry, Sheena. I agreed. We're not mushy. Not at all mushy. My eyes are dry, totally dry. As long as I keep them way open, so they can dry out. <laughs> All right, so I've got carved bone rectangular prisms, two strands of those for $10 a strand. These are also bone beads. We've got kind of this rice shape or a really short hair pipe shape. One strand of all that shape, the short ones for $10. And then we have one strand that is Longer ones and shorter ones mixed, also $10. Bone dry even, yes! Yes, my eyes are bone dry, Corvus. Thank you. I knew you'd be here for me. <laughs> I have this cool strand of carved bone tubes, essentially. Um, they're fluted, really cool shape mixed with brown wooden beads got that strand for ten dollars i also have a strand of eight millimeter really fat bone rondelles usually don't see bone beads in a true round this is about as close to round as you're going to get in a bone bead yes long bones chan them bones them bones them long bones <laughs> Long bones to go with the iron balls. Yeah. <laughs> so, 8 inch, I mean, 8 millimeter uh, bone rondelles, $10 for that strand. Um, <laughs> we let this woman teach middle schoolers, y'all. <laughs> Jan? Yeah, she's actually awesome. <laughs> And we have bigger, more like 10 or 11 millimeter bone rondelles. That strand is also $10. We're almost there. We are almost there. One strand remaining of these awesome little carved bone that I believe are tea dyed. An alien spine. Almost the whole body. It's true. <laughs> You are the product of your environment. It's not your fault, especially at the end of school. Well, we, we also have had hearts on the stream. Yeah. We have all kinds of anatomy. I know. And mushrooms. Um, anyway, these are <laughs> little tea dyed bone with little dots and holes carved in them. One strand of those remaining for $10. And I have one strand of bone flying saucers. This is a cool strand because look, it does this really cool. Good call, Mary. All right, Mary. That is an excellent choice. It was going home with me if it didn't go home with someone else. <laughs> Thank you for saving me from myself. I do 10, not right? need them. Ten, yes. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Dying. I, I've been laughing the problem. So this strand of graduated flying saucers, which once I stop playing with it, will be for sale again. It is a fidget strand. So that one is ten dollars. And then I have I think it's You shouldn't give me this toy Heather. <laughs> well I understand. I trust me. I was playing with a fidget toy last week too. I needed it. So I've got eight strands remaining of these bone heshi or wafer beads. These are probably about 12 millimeter, maybe 13. I don't think they're as big as, eh, maybe 14. But these are really cool. They would make great spacers or they would also make just a great strand on their own for a bracelet or a necklace. Tell me whether you want whiter or darker on those. Eight strands of those remaining, eight inch strands for $10. Now we are on to the Dorito. 
smaller strands. We don't have many of those left because y'all did us proud. All right, so we have two strands remaining of the black and white balls. These are really pretty. I love them. They're not quite round. They're actually trilobal. Trilobal. That's a new word. Yes. Well, they've, they've got three sections, like a... Too late for fancy words, Heather. <laughs> They aren't actually all that heavy. They're they're glass, so they're not for this size. They're they're pretty pretty reasonable weight. So we have two strands of those, five beads a piece, three dollars a strand. I have two strands remaining of these pretty guys. These are orange and red stripies. And again, not round. They are also trilobal ovals. I like the colors of those. Ones. I do too. Yeah. Two strands of those remaining, and those are $3 a strand. Still can't believe this is $3, but we have one and only one strand remaining of the recycled African glass. I will not tap I will not tackle you after the stream for it because they're orange. No, I just will refrain from tackling you. Okay, or do you want to split it? <laughs> we'll talk about okay. it. Okay. So, <laughs> if they survive the recap, because these are seriously amazing. They are. So, one strand remaining, a uh, mini strand. It's it's still a substantial strand, about eight, eight, eight or nine inches long. Um, African glass beads, three dollars. Recycled. Recycled glass. glass. Then we have two strands remaining of the blue stripey. We've got one that has glitter in it and one that has raspberry colored polka dots instead of glitter. Two strands of those, $3 a strand. And last but not least, well, okay, next to last but not least of the... <laughs> Glass strands. We've got these really pretty, pretty green Indian glass. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands of those remaining. Three dollars a strand. And one strand remaining of the mixed glass in the red, cobalt, and green. Also three dollars. And that does it for our tray of three dollar beads. Now we are on to the cherry on top, which we started with but are ending with because... Who doesn't like a good cherry on top? <laughs> this is a full strand, at least 24 inches of batik bone in multiple different patterns. That strand is $45. It's so late. It's making farting noises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see if I can actually go back to front on these. Let's see. Oh, the giraffe? The, uh, yeah. The batik bone? Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I don't have as much confidence on this one. So these are the batik, but this is the largest strand of the batik bone. Batman. Dun, 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 <laughs> Batman. I can't hear that without singing Eminem in my head now. Because seriously, that one section is so brilliant in that song. Wait, I need to now hear this song because I don't know what song you're talking about. So after I'll play it later. Yeah. Yeah. After stream, you have to play it for me. <laughs> I can't say it as fast as he does, but he says, "Well, I'm back." Na 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 na. Fix your damn antenna. Tune it in, and then I'm gonna. Yes, I know what song you're talking about. Yeah. I do know. Enter it in up under your skin like a splinter. That yeah, but it just. I wish I could talk that fast. <laughs> All right, so Batik Bone, and this is a combination of X's, which make diamonds, and diamonds V's. Diamonds with V's. One strand of those, $15. And we had the Flying V's. There you go. Which are a very dark brown instead of black. So the Flying V's are also $15. 
After the flying V's were the... Not... Yeah, the polka dot. Yep. Yeah. Which is the one I was grabbing, which is good. Awesome. Yeah, so these are decidedly brown, really pretty polka dotted tubes. Like a beautiful velvety brown. Then we had the chevron and dot mix. Yep. One strand of those, $15. And last but not least of the batik bone, the okapi print. <laughs> Is that these, an animal? Yeah. Um, oh. These are giraffe, cow, awesome, beautiful batik bone beads. They that would strand be really also cool on a polka dot dress. They would be really cool on a polka dot dress. All right. So now I've got I'm these. More, we should have one more try, right? I'm still on the, I, yeah, I'm just a few things left. Okay. So I've got mixed shape and size and pattern batik bone. Two strands of these, $15 a strand. I think those are my favorite batik bone ones. They're because really cool because you, you get everything. Really good variety. Yeah. yeah. And we've got these really pretty, nice red, orangey red dyed horn beads. And they are spaced with smaller horn beads and a couple of water buffalo horn beads on here as well. So two of these, they actually have. Ha they're 24 inches long or so they have a clasp so you could theoretically wear them as a necklace I would not do that for very long because they are not on the sturdiest material but they are on nylon so you know that lasts a while two strands of those for $15 a strand we have one strand remaining of these lovely black freshwater pearls that yeah made from horn Corvus um, these are such a great color, and I can definitely picture several of you doing awesome things with these. Um, they're probably, they're either five or six millimeter. I don't have any six have millimeter six beads. Milli you have six millimeter on the paper, so. Yeah, okay. So about six millimeter, full strand of those, 16 inch strand for $20 which is not bad. These They're are, really they, they are really pretty. I like those. And we have these really cool fat Jasper beads, extremely fat, large, chunky rondelles. I love the striations in these. So much stripey. Sheena, so are pretty. you talking about the pearls? The pearls are dyed. Yeah, they're not natural black pearls for $20. I mean, Allison has already rescued some Venetian glass that was due to go up on the Indian glass wall oh, for three dollars a strand geez. when they should have been. Oh, the charm on my bracelet. It's a little crown. Turn it that way so you can see it better. Little crown with the CZ in it. It's shiny. Smee and I have this bracelet, both of us. And these Jasper beads are spaced with onyx beads, and that is $25. And this is a really killer deal. These are natural turquoise. Really, really pretty pieces of turquoise spaced with just silver toned metal. Nice, nice pieces. This is a short strand, only three pieces of turquoise, but $25 for natural turquoise in this size is a deal y'all because we have like 16 millimeter spears of composite turquoise they're 44 dollars a bead just saying and last but not least we have our african brass bicones the turquoise was 25 dollars for the strand corvus and that is a discountable price so we've got two strands that are just the African brass bicones. I love African brass. It's the irregularity is super cool. The weight of it is so nice. These aren't 
overly heavy, but they they just feel like something. And I love it. They'd be so cool with those turquoise, with those natural turquoise. Oh my gosh, they really would. You'll take the turquoise? Alright. Awesome. Good choice. So I've got two strands that are just the brass bicones and one strand that is the brass bicone with a random maggot slab. <laughs> yes, a great patina as well. Oh yeah, good call, Corvus. All three of these are $25 a strand. And that, my friends, does it for the Beating Dream stream tonight. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate each and every one of you. We love you to death. And thank you for still being here. I can't believe there are 14 of you still here. I love it. Thank you for tuning in, even without an Allison. I am thrilled to be here. We'll have Allison back tomorrow. She's fine. She's just doing a thing. And Diane has been absolutely wonderful. Everyone give Diane some love. Yay, Diane! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and y'all have a wonderful night. And tune in tomorrow for our Right Angle Weave Ring at noon. Right here on Twitch TV forward slash Beating Dream. And yes, way to go, Diane. Yeah. Oh, and on Facebook. We'll be live on Facebook, too, tomorrow. Uh, d yeah, but no. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so, so much for being here, and we love all of you. And we will be careful going home. I'll post in Discord when we get there, okay?